Hello and welcome to Dungeon Fighter Online, or welcome back. The event video should have come up first, and this is what I was saying I was going to do. I'm going to be playing through as the priest. Uh, the other characters are already pretty far along, but I wanted to show this off for people who haven't played the game, and or uh, mostly for people who haven't played the game. I want to show it off, show what things you can and can't do sort of thing, but I will also show off some of character creation a little bit. You can't cause it's so for those of you who are new to the game, this is not one of those games where you can customize your character. Each and every character in the game is predetermined gender as well and appearance. Uh, the only way you can change it in game is via avatar stuff which is hard to come by you either have to buy it with money or win it from events or things like that. Which, trust me, there are tons and tons of events going on which lets you win avatar stuff or get the get the ability to earn stuff for avatars and or win avatars and things like that. So, so we've got the demonic lancer, which I've got the vanguard. And I've played the Skirmisher before. Both are very good classes. The Vanguard is definitely for more for um it's more it's simpler than the Skirmisher. The Skirmisher is all about using an illusion um, I'm trying to uh, basically they uh, the Skirmisher can summon an illusion which can use abilities for them sort of thing so when they do some of their abilities they can cancel out of the animation and continue doing animations themselves whereas the and the illusion is continuing to do the ability whereas vanguard all he really does is slam down or slam sideways his halberd and do extra damage which is good no because it kills enemies quicker but it's not as in-depth as the skirmisher which you can have you know there's many ways for you to break out of of your animations so if you're looking for just a simple hack and slash clash pick the vanguard if you're looking for something a little bit more in-depth pick the skirmisher Next we've got the Asura, the who's got a Blade Master, Soulbender, Berserker, and the Asura. Everyone always says the Asura is very simple, which is apparently very true. I myself have not played it, so I cannot speak for it. I personally am one of those char people who like char characters no matter how they play. It's just... I, I'm I'm more what gets me excited is the ability to change and manipulate the character sort of thing. Just you know how the character plays, how how uh, what skills they can and cannot have, and things like that. The one character I know I'm more than likely probably not gonna like is the creator, but it is. Something I cannot be, cannot play until level 70, so I won't know until then. So, for quite a while. So, everyone always suggests the Asura to um, start off the game as, as another good beginner class. I personally started off with the Chaos Knight here. I really like how, how she plays. She is a summoner class, so if that's not your thing, and... It, it is it is a simpler I will put I will have air quotes there class than most because it's a summoner a lot of people say it's you can play go through the entire game without having any input whatsoever well I will happily admit and say that yes you can go through dungeons uh, with lower level dungeons completely without worry by oh, using just your summons and that's it 
but the you have abilities that can charge your character forward, can bring enemies cl around you, like suck them in, and and other cool abilities other than just summoning. And you can do unique stuff with the summons too, like creating a wall in front of you so that enemies can't damage you or get past it. And then if you end it early, it explodes doing damage. You can hit one of your summons into the enemy, making them explode. You can make your magician summons do elemental damage, and so on and so forth. I really don't understand why some people don't like it. I personally think it's really a really interesting, cool class, but then again, I don't mind summoning classes at all. So, if you if you want a beginner's class, I, I suggest Chaos. And then moving on from there, but a lot of people suggest the Asura, or the Berserker is another good one, good beginner class, apparently, because it's a good beginner class if you're more interested in playing other classes, such as the tougher classes, like, say, the Rogue, Gunner, okay, not the Gunners. A lot of people also say that they are really simple because, once again, you get to attack from range, leaving you yourself free from being hurt. So, the Male Slayer has the Asura, the Berserker, the Soulbender, which I myself has not played any of the Slayer classes, and the Blade Master. The Female Slayer has the same, well, similar classes of the Swordmaster, which her gimmick is being able to change her sword from normal into other elemental blades. A Dark Templar, a Demon Slayer, which has a chain whip for any of you who have played Soul Calibur. Think Ivy from, from Soul Calibur. She does. She does use a Zambato, but it, the skills and whatnot let you attack as if it were a chain whip. So that is really, really, really cool. I'm looking forward to playing her. Uh, Vagabond is the equivalent of the Asura. It is. Oh my God! You are going to absolutely destroy anything in your way. Uh, this is also. Apparently one of the few classes that lets you attack uh, dual wield, so it takes the speed of one weapon and the strength of another. So your big weapon should be the lightsaber for the speed and the zambato for the damage, because those are the weapons you can use. Uh, gunners, they both have the exact same same subclasses that's the word i'm looking for but they do play differently the male ranger plays slightly different to the female ranger so they both use revolvers but the female ranger her gimmick later on is she gets a chain uh, that does tons and tons of bleed damage whereas the male ranger is i don't know I've never seen anyone play them, so I sadly do not know. The launchers, however, there's not much difference between the two. Same with the mechanic, but once again, I haven't seen anybody play a male launcher or a male uh, or a female mechanic. Or, or No, I've seen someone play a female mechanic, but not a male mechanic. Spitfires, I know they also have difference. The Spitfire is an aerial class. They All their stuff is... Their gimmick is being up in the air, away from the fight, and tossing down, raining death from above with grenades and things like that. Whereas the male gunner, his gimmick is lots and lots of elemental effects. So you'll be able to freeze, burn, poison, or no, not poison, but, you know, um, a lot of elemental grenades. That is really, really cool. I want that. Male Mage, the Glacier Master, which a lot of people, um, which the person I watch does suggest over the Elemental Bomber if you're looking for something a little bit more in-depth, because the Elemental Bomber is one of those just nuke it and walk away like a badass. 
Whereas the Glacial Master is more get in close sort of deal. Female Wage, I'm playing the Witch currently. The Battle Mage also interests me a lot. And of course, there's another Summoner, which if you're not into summoning classes, this is not for you. And the Elementalist. The Knight, you've got the Chaos Knight, as I've already talked about, and the Elven Knight. Where her. She's all about combos, and she's more. I I want to I personally want to say a little bit more difficult to play, because if you want a player to, so she's an easy class to play because she does decent damage and so on and so forth. But if you want to play her to peak efficiency and do as much damage as you possibly can. She's harder to play, but apparently the all all it really is is getting the timing, getting used to hitting the timing right with your with her uh, chain ability. Male fighters, female fighters. Once again, there there is in fact a difference between each and every class. For example, I know the male grappler does a ton of AOE, whereas the female grappler is more uh, solo focused, more focused on one one character, locking down one person. That's the word I'm looking for. Brawlers, the difference between you know female brawler and a male brawler, male striker, female striker, etc. You've got the priest and the thief. The priest has, who we will be playing, has a crusader, whose main, he's a support class apparently, <laughs> but I've seen, I've seen him played before, and it's definitely something very interesting. You've got the monk, which is also another class I've seen played. It's all about more, more or less his fists than, than his actual weapon. But and his weapon, his totem, does uh do, gives a buff to himself and anyone around him. So he's definitely a more interesting class. You've got the Exorcist, which can be played both either physical or hybrid or so on and so forth. And of course the one it's going to be, it's between the Exorcist and the Avenger here, because the Avenger, you can turn into a freaking demon. So, I mean, that's really, really, really cool, and there's not a lot of classes that can do that except for the Battle Mage. She, can also, she also has a transformation skill. The Thief has the Rogue, a Necromancer, which has pets, but not as much as the Summoner or the Chaos Knight. You've got more or less two... Yeah, I don't know. Once again, it's not really summoning class. It's more of a you have it has summons, yes, but apparently you can focus on this big big dude behind you and have your summons more or less assist you and focus on the this dark demon. Kiniwichi, however, is one of is one of the classes that are like the Slayer, the Slayer Asura or the Vagabond or Chaos Knight are one of those classes of apparently you can just nuke a room and move on. The Dark Knight has all the same abilities as the Male Slayer, however, their gimmick is they can chain abilities. So let's say I have a ability map to one key. If I keep pressing that key, it'll move from one ability to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. Until I run out of combos, and then I can move on to whichever one. And the creator, they move with WASD, and their their gimmick is you click on the screen to uh, to absolutely destroy a room with their abilities. But the abilities have cooldown, and so on and so forth. But, as I said, 
we will be playing Priest. I, I will... There we go. Go through the basic tutorial stuff that everyone gets. At the end of the world, world, the Lord fills the sky with the wills that defy. They are the one. Thus, are the infinite, the prime union of entropy powers shall spread into the whole, reaching the very end of the universe. Whoops. Many incidents that broadcast to the world, yet as pieces of clue revealed, no connection for tree are concealed deep in the abyss. Nonetheless, we can oh, I think I read that completely wrong. Wrong, but you get the point. So the ones who are forsaken behind the wheels of age may blame the sky for this tragedy. It is a sign, a sign leading them to where they should be, a sign indicating the wheels of fate driving slowly, a sign of a near beginning. ジョニーテンションに来てくれそうはいこいするてじいえ心がかだとすんだくれくれそ俺が存在や張ってがおんがんかんねはじまんじゅぎょねそいがそんすじゃなど意味かっちえそうおじゅまはらめなおったんだく
squirrel into little itty bitty bits. Yes, tutorial. But this is what you get for for playing a game for the first time. Most games always try and explain their mechanics and so on and so forth to you. What are you talking about? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Boop. <laughs> I still love this, the little... No interrupted plan. I love how he says, I don't have time for this. Out of the way. From the depths of the forest, where am I? I think I had a nightmare. I can't remember. I have something else to do in this forest. And... I somehow managed to go back. And that's basically the tutorial. Well, the first tutorial. おじさんと말씀드려야 마이언님의 지혜를 이어받은 요정들이 대마법진을 수호하며 전의의 기운을 막고 있었지만 인간에 의해 발생한 대화제에 의해 그란 플로리스 숲과 대마법진 그리고 요정마저 사라지고 말았어. You do know like half of the characters in the game are vile humans. 절망의 끝에서 우리를 구해낸 것이 바로 성스러운 나무 실버 크라운이었답니다. 이후 살아남은 사람들의 노력으로 세상은 안정을 되찾고 있지만 전이가 계속되는 이상 안심할 수는 없겠지요. 제 이름은 세리아 키르민. 위험에 처한 아라들을 구해줄 특별한 분을 기다리고 있었답니다. That hero is you. I feel better. Come on, man. We all know that that was what she was going to say. And thank you for saving me. I don't know how to repay you. Let me stay with you and help you any way I can. And I'm done. More animals. More spirits. The spirits used to be kind and gentle, but now they're angry. Blah blah blah. It's it's more tutorial stuff. There, I have met oh. There you go. This village used to be a hamlet and victims of great Jesus worked together to build it into what it is now. I'm the guardian of the pentacle. And also of this village named after the crown. I was told you saved Syria, my friend and a villager of Silver Crown. Thank you and welcome to Silver Crown. She does not look like an elf. I assume you're aware of the great Matisse that set across the air. Contra, it destroys forests and villages and left animals and plants affected by its terrifying life-taking effects. It can't 
I can't believe it's already been a year since that happened. Our village was unaffected and remained peaceful, all thanks to Summer Crown. Are you planning to stay here, or will you be leaving soon for somewhere else? I don't have a plan to go yet. By the way, what's the black smoke that attacked Syria? She called it the Black Nightmare. About that, nothing much about it is known. I didn't think it would be so threatening to people. I was wrong. Isn't it dangerous that the nightmare is growing bigger? More villagers could fall victim to it. It is, and someone has offered help with it. I thought he'd be here by now, but he isn't. It makes me worried. I tell you, someone entered Luton, the villager tried to stop him, but he entered it anyway. If he sir. Arganzo, I wouldn't worry, but the forest is too dangerous for anyone else, sir. Arganzo, do you mean the one who defeated the Apostle in the screen camera? I've always wanted to meet him. I saw where he went. I'll go fetch him in case he's lost. And once again, this is basically another small tutorial dungeon, and I could, um, mm, there's enough. I say the dungeon, the, this next bit shouldn't last too long, so. I don't want it to go over 30 minutes, but this should take just a few minutes. Smash the. I have no idea what these are. Link spirit. Link. Excellent. Die squirrels! No, I got hit by a fireball. Squirrel. And it's dead. Now, the abilities in game can be used either with the hotkeys if you sign them, or with hitting the Z key by default does one move. However, with a combination of arrows, in this case for my S ability, it's down and left, correct? Left and down. You do it. So as you gain abilities, they also gain. Um, they also show you what combination of arrows and the Z key, or sometimes the S key, can be used to activate them. He's not on the same axis as me, I don't really have to worry. So, unlike most 2D fighting games, or 2D side scrolling games, this one has a Y axis as well, meaning you can avoid attacks by just sidestepping them. Such as that scroll's tiny fireball. So, when you're fighting, it is. I personally have this, this problem of having a hard time learning to do to do both, either or, or do either the hotkeys or do the um, Z key in combination. It's definitely something you will have to spend time to learn. But once you do, you should be pretty well off. <laughs> And of course, if you want to get into PvP, it's definitely better to learn either the combinations or be really quick with the skill keys. And... Dead. By the way, I believe he's in the Sura. But I don't quote me on that. More monsters are affected by the nightmare than I thought. I couldn't see all of them. At least the worst of them are taken care of. What do you mean? The nightmare has to fall on the spirit of Lebanon. can be dispersed, but only temporarily. It can't be left alone, so I asked around and heard that Sir Hagonzo and his colleagues had found a way to contain the nightmare, seal it while it's inside the animal's monsters when they are affected. 
first affected by the nightmare fall asleep and then wake up frenzy. We've been sealing them away while they are asleep, so that the nightmare will be sealed away along with them. It seems to be the only solution for now. Guardian and I took care of the nightmare in Abaddon, but not completely. You should warn your people to be clear of the forest for a while. I should leave now. I have to lock those sealed monsters inside the ice wall of resignation, lest they wake up again. Excuse me, and we get our reward. I think the forest will quiet down, but aside from the nightmare affected monsters that are uh, Aganzo sealed away, violent monsters still remain the forest. We should follow his advice and keep playing at the forest, but the forest is our neighborhood and can't wait too long to use it again. I can at least check the borders of the forest near the village. Most of our guards are still recovering from their injuries from the great Matisses. I appreciate it if you can do that for us, but are you sure? I don't want to hold you back from your adventures. I'm a priest. I should be doing this anyways. Because I'm a priest. I should be helpful. But you get the same dialogue no matter what character you're playing, so. Like, for example, the witch comes here because she's from Brooklyn. I'm not joking. See, some of this seems to take place in the real world, and some of it takes place here in Arid, so I don't quite know which characters are from the real world, aka here, and on Earth, and those of the, those of the the ones who are already in Arid or around Arid sort of deal. Each character has their own little story, but the story in the game doesn't change from character to character, really. Um, so, don't expect much differences with what character you play, it just the characters you pick are the characters you are more interested in. So, it doesn't matter who you play, you'll get the same story no matter what. Um, I mean, later on there might be differences, but I only have, I've only gotten about to level 34 on my night from the few days free I've, a uh, few days free I've gotten to play her and experiment with the character. Well, that is all for now. We will continue next time by continuing the Crystal Forest. Yes, Crystal Forest. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Bye!